Thank you for joining us today. This is Dr. Tim Liptrap, and I'm joined with, by Professor Will McLaren, who is the professor of our Introductory Public Relations course. In this webinar, uh, you can reach out to us either by asking a question directly into your microphone or your phone, or you can send us a little chat message within the system. If you have any questions throughout the course, by all means, reach out to Will uh, using his email address. So, Will, why don't you take it away? Well, for any of the students that are going to be taking this class, welcome. I'm glad that you have, have chosen to, to take this class. I'm excited to be teaching it. This is the second time I'm going to be teaching this course. I think it's, it's a really valuable course for, for anyone that is interested in, in possibly pursuing a career in public relations. Uh, it's definitely a, a class that, that I wish had been offered when I was there. So I, I feel very fortunate to be able to to share some of my experiences in, in this field with you all, and I'm excited to get going this semester. Will, why don't we get started? Uh, you want to just kind of review your syllabi? Sure. So we can just go ahead uh, and, and start moving right through this. Uh, occasionally, I will get a question from a student um, in regards to meeting times and locations and things like that. This is strictly an online class. There are no uh, class times, there are no meeting times, anything like that, locations. Um, everything is going to be done through through the online platform. Uh, if anyone has any questions for me throughout the semester, uh, my contact information is, is up at the top. Um, preferable uh, contact would be through email. Um, and then if we need to discuss anything over the phone, we can schedule a time to do that. Um, the one one thing that I will I will say is that uh, I, I encourage you all to to not get behind and stay up with the the weekly assignments, especially with the discussion questions. Uh, they they can seem at times like busy work, but because this is an online class, uh, it's it's really our way to have an open forum and have uh, as though we were having an in class discussion. So so those are really important, and those those are going to be able to show me that you're. You're following along the content that's in the book, and you're following along with, with the lessons that we're going to be learning uh, throughout the semester. So it's really, really important, uh, especially with those discussion questions, that you keep up on those throughout the semester. And moving down here, uh, we're just going to go over quickly the course, uh, the course outcomes um, and really the goals of this class. So the first one, to help you develop your writing and editing skills necessary to succeed in a PR career, like I said at the beginning. This is uh, this is really a great crash course for anyone that that's interested in in possibly getting into this field. Uh, we're going to introduce you to some certain aspects such as is issue crisis management, um, so you can begin the the thinking and behaving uh, you know behavioral aspects that are necessary to to a PR career. And then just to help you understand uh, working through different channels, whether that's working in print online, television, radio, event, what have you. We can start to show you the different aspects of this field. Like I said, uh, for the course format, this is going to be all online. Um, so you'll, you'll see the, uh, the due dates for, for assignments and for uh, you know, discussion questions. Like I said, please, please keep up on those throughout the semester. If you have not done so yet. Um, below on page three are the, the books that I'd like to have you uh, purchase for this class. Uh, the first one is the textbook that we'll be working out of, and then the second is an AP style book. And I think that this is really important because uh, in the public relations field, we're dealing with the media. Um, all published media outlets work under AP style format. So it's a little bit different than, than I'm sure uh, what you've been doing at school. Um, but this is this is a very uh, important aspect of, of working in public relations. So this AP style book will help you with uh, abbreviations and formatting of certain words and things like that. So it's, it's very important that, that anything we write in this class is going to be AP style guidelines. Now, well, can I just talk about your the credit policy at Nichols College? Yes. So the, the federal guidelines require us to have uh, to two hours of work for every class hour that you have. Even though this is an online class, it looks and feels like by hour-wise a traditional three-credit class. So the expectation is that these students are going to do potentially anywhere between two to four hours worth of work in addition to attending the class during the week. 
and I just want to make sure that everybody knows that on the call and that's kind of um, listening in is that it looks and feels just like a regular class does. We just, the mode is different the way we teach this. So like it says right here, uh, we're looking for students to log in for a minimum of two days each week. Um, one aspect of the discussion questions is also replying to your classmates. So I would say if you're, if you're only looking to do logging, logging in two days per week, which I'm not encouraging anyone to do, um, I, you know, I would log in as much as, as you feel you should or you want to um, during the course of the week, I would say definitely log in at one point during the week to uh, take a look at the assignments that are either being introduced that week or that are going to be due that week, uh, as well as the discussion questions. And then perhaps later in the week, you log back in uh, to reply to some of your classmates' uh, discussion uh, postings. That's going to be one, one part of the discussion questions is also replying to, uh, to your classmates and having an open dialogue. One other thing, um, getting down into uh, classroom protocol, uh, one, one big thing, obviously, like we've talked about at the beginning of the class, this is, a, this is strictly an online class. So with that being said, if you're having internet trouble in your dorm or at your apartment or at home, you need to make sure that you're able to get somewhere uh, where the Wi-Fi is not an issue. If that means going to the library on campus uh, to get on a computer, that's what you're going to have to do. Um, there's plenty of resources out there that connectivity should not be an issue. Um, if, you're, if you're running into to technical problems uh, and something, you, you miss a due date, I need to hear about that ahead of time. I don't want to hear about it um, after something was due and for you to, to email me after and say that you were having connectivity issues, computer issues, what have you. If anything happens, uh, I really want to be up to speed on that. I don't want to be hearing about things after the fact. Uh, especially in this field that, that I work in, uh, we, we deal very strictly on deadlines uh, and the, the world that I work in does not necessarily uh, wait for internet issues or anything of that nature. So. Um, this is good training for, uh, again, if this is a field that, that you want to be working in. Now, if any, of, if any of the students here online have questions, by all means, just uh, this is Professor Liptrap. I am working behind the scenes on, on the text messaging system that's built in. Just hit the message button and send me a note if you have questions, and uh, Will, I'll pass those on to you as we go through. Sure. So now we're getting into the grading policy. Um, in terms of the letter grades, uh, th these are things that I'm sure you've seen in, in your other classes at Nichols, so nothing really new there. Um, in terms of the, the breakdown of percentages um, for the grading policy, you can see that over uh, to the right on the screen. Um, many of those are, are projects that will be introduced throughout the semester, um, which you'll learn more about as we, as we go on. As I talked about with the discussion questions, those, those are a big part of your final grade. So I can't stress that enough to, to really keep up on those each week. Make sure you're doing them. Make sure you're replying to your classmates. Those are going to be a very big part of your final grade. Right here, this is my policy for late work. Um, it's 10% off for the first week, 30% off for the second week, and then anything after that I will not accept. All right, so can we just go back over that one more time? Yeah, no problem. The on your, on your late policy? 10% yes. off for the first week, 30% off for the second week, and uh, anything after that you can't, right? Yes, 10% off. So it would be 10% off for the first week, 30% off for the second week, and then after two weeks I will not accept any late work. Now with the, the Moodle platform, um, when students submit uh, assignments, they will be scanned through a system, so it will check for plagiarism um, both uh, from another student's paper that's already been turned in. Uh, it will also uh, be scanned through to see if, it's, if there's anything that's been plagiarized um, from outside sources such as websites, outside articles, uh, things of that nature. So it, it's very important that if you're, if you're using um, parts of a report that, that are out uh, on the internet that you found, uh, you really need to make sure that you're citing those sources um, so that it shows that, that you're, you know, giving credit to, to where you found that information um, and you're not just trying to use it as your own. Um, for technical support for the class, if, if you do run into any issues, whether it's submitting files on Moodle um, or anything like that, 
please make sure to, to let me know, but then there's also some contact information here uh, so that some folks at the college um, will be able to help you troubleshoot some of those issues. Those are who are just joining us now a little bit later into this uh, broadcast. Uh, you'll be able to go back and watch this video and catch Will's earlier comments about the, the class as he set it up. Now getting into uh, projects and assignments throughout the, the semester. One thing that I already did touch on uh, is the AP Style Guide. That's going to be one of the books that I'm, that I'm asking that all students uh, have for this class. Like I said, uh, AP style is, is what we use in the public relations industry. So it, it's very important that, that for all of your assignments that we're going to be doing this semester that you do follow those AP style guidelines. Um, I am going to be a big stickler on uh, grammar and grammatical errors and things of that nature because in my field those are really unacceptable for anything um, that gets published. So this is going to be good practice for, for any of you that are you know, again, interested uh, in, in going into this field and then just sort of in the professional world in general. Um, you know, I, I had a boss years ago that uh, had previously worked at the White House um, during the Clinton administration. And one thing that he always would ask me before uh, work was finalized is, is this the best work that you can submit? Um, so I, I really urge all of you before you, you click, click submit and, and send things in for me to grade that you, you proofread at least twice, you've had someone else uh, take a look at it to get another set of eyes on it um, because these can really hinder your grade. Um, you know, there's no there's no excuse for misspelled words, um, you know, factual errors, AP style errors, things of that nature. So uh, it, you could you could write a great paper, but if if all of a sudden I find five misspelled words, that's going to be a huge hit on on your final grade on that paper. Um, so I really can't stress enough uh, for, for all the students in this class to really take the time to proofread your work before you turn it in. Now for the end of the syllabi right here, it's just going to be an overview um, for each week. Um, and we, w we don't have to go through um, each week right now. Um, but I'll certainly go over a couple of key points that, that will be important for you all. Uh, as we go through the semester. So like I said, there will be discussion questions every week. Um, on various weeks, we'll be introducing uh, assignments that will be due anywhere from the following week to several weeks out because they're a little bit more detailed. You'll see that with uh, the media kit assignment and some other assignments uh, throughout the semester. Uh, one, one big thing I want to stress, and, and I did stress this uh, the last time I taught this class, is that I, I'm sure that we have a lot of sport management majors in this class, and that's great. I was a sport management major when I was at Nichols. I work in the sports industry now in public relations. Uh, this is not a sport management class. This is a public relations writing class. So um, I really want to have students, when we use real world examples uh, and, and we apply them into our assignments, unless you are going to use a, a sports focused topic that is solely corporate related, has nothing to do with on the field, players, coaches, anything like that. I'm not interested in any assignments that focus on uh, performance on the field, uh, coaches' performances, anything like that. If you're going to be using a a sports related topic, it has to come from a corporate focused uh, idea or topic. Uh, if you have any questions about whether or not you, you think that this may or may not be appropriate for an assignment, feel free to reach out to me um, and, and ask me what my thoughts would be. Um, I'm more than happy to, uh, to review anything like that um, and, and to tell you if I think it would be appropriate for for the assignment that, that you're working on. Professor Liptrap, is there is there anything else that you would like me to touch on before we uh, before we open it up? No, I think what we're gonna do is I think that's good as an overview at this point. And then if there's any specific questions, we'll just ask these guys. Uh, what we'll do, Will, is we could either take them online or take them offline. Which direction would you like to go in this particular entry video? Uh, we can take them online, that's fine. Okay, great. All right, so uh, those students who are here, are there any specific questions? You guys just, um, just you can speak right into your phones or your, uh, your headsets and just introduce yourself to uh, Professor McLaren and go from there. 
Uh, I have one about the discussion questions. This is Spencer. Hey, Spencer. Uh, so, on the discussions, I saw on one, we need to respond to three of our classmates, but not on the other one, correct? So, so for, for the different weeks, um, there may be uh, a total of, let's say for one week, there might be a total of, of five discussion questions that each, each student will have to respond to individually. Um, within that week, you would only have to respond to, if, if the requirement is to respond to three of your classmates' postings, you would only have to respond to three other postings, as opposed to three postings on each question from classmates. So it would be okay. three responses, not 15, if that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay, perfect. No problem. Was that a sigh of relief, Spencer? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay. So, Professor McLaren, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording button and ask everybody to stay online for just a moment. To our students, thank you for joining us today. This is going to wrap up this webinar. If you have any further questions, by all means, reach out to Professor McLaren directly, either through Moodle or your Nichols email address. Once again, thanks for joining us today, and I hope you have a very successful course. We will be doing more of these in the future. As you know, Dr. Liptrap here, and I am just in the technical background, and Professor McLaren is running your course. Have a good day, have a good week, and enjoy the rest of the semester.